Now, the waters off the south coast have always played an important part in history, so it's no surprise the seabed is littered with shipwrecks. But you may not realise that two World War II tanks are also lying in the depths. How did they get there? Well, a diving team from Hampshire hopes to find the answer. Rachel Healy has more. These divers from South Sea Sub Aqua are about to go under the surface on a mission with historical significance. They're hoping to solve a World War II mystery. How did two tanks intended to take part in the D-Day invasions end up at the bottom of the sea off the West Sussex coast? Yesterday, the team began mapping the site and will measure, chart and photograph until Wednesday. Each day, the divers will come to this point, 11 miles from Selsey, 18 miles from the Isle of Wight, and they'll be travelling 20 metres down to explore a piece of British history. So far, the tanks have been confirmed as centaurs, like these. 80 were built in 1944, but only a small number made it across the channel because of bad weather and breakdowns. Local myth states that these centaurs fell from a bridge section of the artificial Mulberry Harbours, although it's more likely they were lost during rough seas. Two bulldozers have also been discovered at the site. This is our third dive now, and um, each time we're finding something new. A propeller today, um, several items yesterday, lots of ammunition. 25 people have given up their time to help with the survey. I just enjoy all sort of uh, diving, um, and especially sort of when there's a little bit of a mystery involved as well. It's a lovely dive, um, experience of surveying wrecks, a bit of archaeology, and I get extra dives under my belt. I mean, we normally do uh, wrecks, but this is entirely different. If you have any clues to help with this underwater mystery, please contact Alison via www.southseasubaqua.org.uk. Rachel Healy for Meridian News.